Hello and welcome to another Mad Ravens production. My name is Mark Kennedy and I'm here speaking to you on behalf of all the Mad Ravens. This is probably the first in a series of short pieces that we've recorded over the last year or so. We're very proud of our ability to keep the show on the road for lack of a better phrase during what has been a very difficult period for the arts, as well as many other sectors. What you're about to hear is a piece from Sean Purcell's The Raven Beckons, which was written many years ago and performed here in Sligo in 2017. This recording is like a new adaptation of a certain section of that story. This piece portrays what you might conceive to be the typical relationship between father and son, and the struggles that is felt by both as a boy grows into a man. This piece is narrated and performed by myself, and it was of course written by Sean Purcell. I hope you enjoy, and please keep an eye out for much more of this type of content in the future. Thank you very much. 11 o'clock and I'm still up studying. It's wrecking my head. I think my eyeballs are going to explode. I can hear his voice. You keep at those books. I've invested too much time in your future already. I don't even want to study commerce and be an accountant. I haven't a clue what any of this means, no matter how often I go over it. I just want to draw pictures and be an artist, and my teacher says I'm really good at it. But Dad says it's just another one of Mam's harebrained notions, says she panders to me. Says, there's no future in us. Look, I've made plans for you, for your future. Exactly, my future. I didn't want the posh school with the big fees. I didn't want to do the grinds in town, the lectures about hard graft and sticking to the books. I don't mind hard graft and I know it's a man's world but I'm still a boy. A boy just trying to find the space to grow into a man. When did you ever give me a chance? You made fun of me because I was no good at sports because I'd never made captain of the school team like you, and I was never going to stand up in front of the whole school debating the benefits of capitalism. And when I showed you my patents, <laughs> you laughed, and made fun of me, because you hadn't invented it for me, and you didn't want some little arty-farty shit for a son. You never asked me what I wanted to do. Did you ever take the time to listen to me when I told you about how much I love drawing? <laughs> for a living, that's all that you could sneer. I didn't have to always hear about how hard it was for you and how easy it was for me. How I didn't have to walk three miles to and from school every day or do the chores every morning before you even went to school or never get away on a holiday. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't want a place in the business. I don't want to take over from you someday. I don't want to be part of your great plan. I have no interest. I'm no good with figures. You know that. You've got to see me for who I am. I'm not like you. I do try. I honestly do try, but I fail every time. I go to school every morning feeling sick. I can't take it anymore. I know I'm going to fail again, and I can't take failing anymore. I only wish I could pack it all in. That's the truth. Whether you want to hear it or not. never listen when I'm talking to you You make me feel like you wish I wasn't there when I'm talking to you You treat me like a joke a summon a poke fun at You can't even look me in the eye And I keep trying harder I'm nothing like you You're driving us apart I'm sick of everything Being told what to do You're running my life Can someone take some notice of me? And I know it's self-pity and I should have more sense But I can't take it anymore Dad, I never remember you just being there There are spaces and photographs, your tears and your laughs are missing in action You think you spoil me, but bribes and money Don't make up for not taking the time You couldn't show interest except on a balance sheet I can't take it anymore I'm sick of everything, being told what to do You're running my life, can someone take some notice of me? And I know it's self-pity and I should have more sense But I can't take it anymore And I know it's self-pity and I should have more sense But I can't take it anymore